Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakup dynamics and the topic for this video is, is it wrong to meet? How often should you meet? Should you go for no contact? How much interaction do you want to have with your ex? This is one of the very core questions that you want to establish in your mind and have very clear answers for. So I'm going to give you some hints here. If you just broke up and you are in a state of relatively high harmony, right? There is not too much tension or too many fights. You are still friends. Maybe meeting once a week or once every two weeks is okay. Just for a drink, one evening, have a very light date with your ex is completely okay. It's completely fine. It might not be holding you back. You might be like, yeah, we, we're best friends. You know, why not? We can keep on interacting. So meeting for a drink, meeting for a connection, having a very light date with that person is completely okay. You don't have to cut her off if you are friendly with each other. Now, what I want you to check is very simple. When you see her, when you are in front of her, does your heart open? Do you feel more liberated? Or do you feel contracted? Do you tend to fight? Do you tend to argue? Do you tend to enter into shadow mode with each other? Is there lots of anger, even rage coming out? How do you feel when you come back home? Do you feel like, wow, that was nice. Let's do that again. Or do you feel like, wow, fuck, that hurts. You know, so this is what I want you to check. Go and check how it feels. How does it feel when you're in front of her? And in my experience, you know, for probably maybe 50% of the men out there, uh, having no contact for a while or very little contact might be the best way to go. So ask yourself this question, how much do you want to interact with her? In terms of messaging, in terms of text messages, um, another very important point. It is very hard, very challenging to process a breakup through messaging or via phone. So usually if you have something to share with each other, it's much better to meet face to face, okay? So when you're interacting, via messaging, right? You're on Facebook, you text each other. Um, most of the times, if you engage into a processing conversation, we call that an us conversation, about our relationship, about what we used to have, about our breakup, most of the times this is going to be a draining experience. It's very rare to have a chat conversation on Messenger and this be really constructive on the long term because it takes too much time. It takes too much time to type. There might be misunderstanding. When you are in front of somebody and you are having a live conversation, it's much more productive and much more, much easier to engage and to have clear answers. You get the visual feedback. You know what this person is doing. You know, sometimes you can have physical touch. You can have something that adds a dimension to this conversation and makes it way easier to navigate these challenges. And so back to the original question, is no contact appropriate? Should you see her or not? I would say that again, if you are friendly, you know, if you are in good terms, then meeting once a week and or once every two weeks for an hour or two is fine. Now, what if there is tension? What if there is hostility? And then every time you see her, she's going to be angry with you or resentful or blame you. And then you spend an hour with her and it takes you a day to digest that experience. And obviously, it's not a good idea to meet. Obviously, it's going to be negative for your field. Obviously, it's going to be toxic. And so the urge of still wanting to recover what used to be there, you know, sometimes you can shut down a little bit that urge and be like, I know what the outcome is going to be. I prefer not seeing her, not seeing you, and going for no contact. And so there is a, a vast range of possibilities. Another thing that you can check is, do you want to just be friends? Do you want to just be connected with your ex? Or do you want to build an active friendship, a new active relationship, which is based on a different set of, of, uh, of ideas or connection? You know, you might no longer be lovers, you might no longer be sexual, but you might still be very close to each other. So that's always an option. That's always a possibility as well. But I would like you to take a moment to pause and observe what's happening in the dynamics of your relationship or what's left of, of that relationship or that connection with your ex and feel into it. Feel into what feels appropriate. 
is the presence of your ex in your field going to stop you from meeting other women? Because sometimes that's what happens. And so ask yourself these questions and take a moment to pause and to check in internally what is the best way to design or to connect with your ex in your future. And the specific question for this video is how much interaction do you want to have with her? If you are not sure, most of the times it's minimalizing the interaction so that you can bring new people, new social connections in your life. Most of the times, if you have the choice between having a date with your ex or having a date with a new potential partner, I would very often invite you to check the possibility of having a date with new potential partners. It means create space. This means also no longer prioritizing your past relationship, no longer prioritizing that connection and prioritizing other connections. Yeah, keep that in mind and ask yourself this question. How much interaction do you really want to have with her? And what's going to be the impact of this interaction with her in your field?